Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of decimal numbers. How to write a decimal number, how to read a decimal number and what a decimal number is. But in the next couple of videos, I'm going to cover everything about decimal numbers. Rounding off, ordering, adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. But before we jump into decimal numbers, let's just recap what we already know. So to start off, here we have one, two, three, four whole chocolates. So four ones. Here we have the four slab chocolates, the four ones, but we also have two groups of 10 chocolates. So two groups of tens. We have in total 24 chocolates, two groups of 10, and then the four single chocolates. Here we have a group of a hundred chocolates. So one hundreds. So we have one group of a hundred chocolates, two groups of 10 chocolates, and four groups of one single chocolate. We have 124 chocolates. Now let's see if you can remember all the place values. So first we said we had ones, then we had tens, then we had hundreds. Next is thousands. The next number will be ten thousands. The next number will be hundred thousands. And the next one will be millions and we can carry on and on it never stops but for this video we are ending with millions now what i want you to notice is that when we go from one to the next place value 10 we multiply by 10 and when we go from 10 to the next place value 100 we again multiply by 10. So each time to go on to the next place value, we multiply by 10. Every place value to the left is 10 times bigger than the previous place value. Now I want you to remember this for when we are introducing decimals. So let's look at this chocolates. There are two whole chocolates, so two ones. But let's say I don't eat both chocolates. I eat only one chocolate and one block of the other chocolate. So both slabs have 10 little pieces and the 10 pieces together makes one chocolate. So I eat a whole chocolate and one piece of the next chocolate. So it's not two whole numbers anymore. It's one and a bit. That's why we use decimals. So here, we have one full chocolate and now going back to what I told you to remember, when we go to the left, each place value gets 10 times bigger. Now, when we're busy with decimals and we move to the right, the same concept counts here. When we go right, it just gets 10 times smaller. We ate one whole chocolate and then to separate our whole number and our parts we are going to use a decimal separator and i will talk about the decimal separators in the next slide but for now let's quickly just carry on so i have one whole and then i use a decimal separator and then next to that I can now say I ate one tenth of the next chocolate. In total, I ate one whole chocolate and one tenth of the next chocolate. So like I said, let me quickly explain the decimal separators. Across the whole world, we use two different decimal separators. We can use a comma and we can use a point. But because I'm from South Africa, I use a comma as a decimal separator. So that is why you will mainly see me use a comma. 
But that is the only difference. The rules are the same. Everything is the same. The only thing that's different is that I use a comma where you can maybe use a point. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's continue. So now we've eaten one whole chocolate and one tenth of the next piece. Now let's eat another piece. Now we've eaten one whole piece, but we've eaten two tenths of the next slab. So now you write one comma two or one point two. Let's say you eat another piece. Now you've eaten one whole slab and also three tenths of the next one. And we can carry on like this on and on and on. So now you've eaten one whole chocolate and nine tenths of the next chocolate. So what will happen now if I eat that last block of chocolate? Now we've eaten two whole chocolates. So we've eaten two whole chocolates and we haven't eaten a piece of another chocolate. So just two whole chocolates. But let's take it one step further. Let's say I eat one whole chocolate. So I have one whole chocolate. And let's say from the next chocolate, I eat two pieces. So I know I need to use my decimal separator, the comma or the point, and then I have two tenths. I ate two tenths. But let's say I'm just not satisfied yet. I want to eat a bit more, but I don't want to eat the whole next block. So now, I take the next piece and I divide that one into 10 more pieces. So like we said, tenths is 10 times smaller than ones. But now I divide it into 10 times smaller pieces. And I decide I want to eat just one of those pieces. Now I have one whole chocolate, two tenths, and one hundredth. So the next place value is hundredths. And let's say I want to eat one little piece more. I will have eaten one whole piece, two tenths, and two hundredths. If I eat one more, I would have eaten one whole chocolate, two tenths, and three hundredths. And I can carry on like this until I've reached one whole chocolate, two tenths, and nine hundredths. But when I eat that last piece, I have eaten one whole chocolate and three tenths, one comma three or one point three. Now let's look at all the place values of decimal numbers. So first we said we have tenths and tenths are 10 times smaller than ones and then 10 times smaller than tenths we have hundreds and then we continue on like that each decimal place value to the right is 10 times smaller than the previous one so the next number will be thousands the next one will be ten thousandths, the next one will be hundred thousandths, and the next one will be millions. And it's very important, I want you to see that all the decimal place values ends with THS. So now you know where we use a decimal number, and you know how to write a decimal number. But how do I properly read a decimal number? Now I'm going to explain this by using both decimal separators. I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to read a decimal number and I'm going to show you the proper way to read a decimal number. So let's have a look. So let's read this in the quick and easy way. So in that case you will say 5241. Now I want you to pay attention that I didn't say 52,41, but when you read it like this, you read the whole number as a whole, you say comma, and then you break up the digits of the decimals and you pronounce them one by one. 
52,41. And when you have a point, you will say 52.41. So that's the easy way to read and say this decimal numbers. But what is the proper way? You're going to first determine what the place value is of the last decimal. So what is the place value of the one? And that is hundreds. So now that you have that place value, you can easily read this decimal number. And it's going to be exactly the same for the comma and the point. So you're going to read this as 52, the comma and the point you read as and, and then you read the decimal part as a whole number. So 41, and then you add the place value of the last decimal, hundredths. So the proper way to read this decimal numbers is 52 and 41 hundredths. Let's look at another example. The easy way to read this is 3,057, or when you have the point, 3.057. But to do it the proper way, you're first going to determine what the place value is of the last decimal, so of the 7. And the 7th place value is thousandths. So now you can read your decimal number properly. So we have 3 and 57 and then you have your place value thousands 3 and 57 thousands let's have another example in the quick way we say 71 comma 0001 or with the point 71.0001 but in the proper way we first determine the place value of the last decimal and that is 10 thousandths. And now we can read our decimal number. So we have 71 and 1 10 thousandths. Let's have one more example. Let's have a look at this one. 0, 0,021 or 0 0.021. But to read it in the proper way, we determine the place value of the last decimal, which is the 1, and the place value is thousands. And now we read our decimal number. So it's 0 and 21 thousands. So that was just a bit of the basics of decimal numbers. If you want to go and practice this, I have two worksheets. The one is for using a decimal point, the other one is for using a decimal comma. So make sure you download the correct worksheet for you. And each of those worksheets also have a memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like it and also to subscribe to my channel. And just a reminder that there will be more videos coming out about decimal numbers. If you want to check that out, make sure you also ring the notification bell so that you are informed when the videos go live. And then I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.